10th kids, I'm Grace, the preschool pastor at our Mount Pleasant site, and I'm so happy to be with you today. Let's start our worship service by lighting this candle. When we welcome people into our homes, one of the ways we can do this is to make our space clean and tidy for them. Or maybe we might choose to make some food to share with them. How do you welcome people into your home? And what do you do to help? Yeah, that sounds great. Helping others or sharing food or toys is showing kindness. And today, as a church, we are continuing to see the need for truth and reconciliation with our indigenous brothers and sisters. Reconciliation may be a big word, but it simply means to make friends. When something has been broken, work needs to be done to repair it. Being kind can be a way to help make things good again. In our new series, we're learning that the heart of God is kind. That means God is gentle and helpful to us. He always knows what's best for us. In our Bible story, we'll find out that David had someone over for meals every single day. Let's go read about it in the Bible. The Bible tells us about a man named David who was kind. David learned to be kind from God. God was so kind to David. He chose David to be the king of Israel. And he showed David how to be loving and helpful and encouraging. And that's a big word. But it just means that when people are encouraging, they let others know when they're doing something well. Like when your mom tells you that you're being very helpful when you help set the table for dinner or you picked up your toys. So, David had become king of all God's friends. He lived in a big palace and had many, many food to eat. And he also had many friends and family. David had won a battle against another family. Here are the soldiers. Let's read in the Bible to find out how David treated the family that lost a battle against him. Uh, 2 Samuel 9.1 David asked, Is anyone left from the royal house of Saul? If there is, I want to be kind to him because of Jonathan. David wanted to help the losing family. He knew they might be hurting and decided to be kind to them. The Bible says David found out about one man named Mephibosheth. Mephibosheth was part of the family David beat in the battle. He couldn't work and he didn't have any land to live on. David had a big, big house and plenty of food to eat. Right here. So David found out that Mephibosheth didn't have any of these things and he wanted to show kindness to him. So David invited him to the palace. Do, do, do. When Mephibosheth arrived at David's palace, David told him not to be afraid. Remember, David had won a battle against his family. Then David gave Mephibosheth the land that Mephibosheth's grandpa used to own. David made sure he had people to take care of him and to bring him what he needed. And David invited Mephibosheth to eat in the palace with him every day. David was kind to Mephibosheth because he learned to be kind from God. 
He knew God would always take care of him. He didn't need to hold back any kindness. God is kind to us too. God gives us everything we need, and when we do something wrong, He forgives us. When we are grumpy, He still shows us love. Because God is kind, we can be kind to others too. Can you think of some ways to be kind or show kindness? Especially on this day, as we choose to be kind to our indigenous neighbors, God is kind to us when He gives us something we need, when He tells us He loves us and cares for us, and when He forgives us. And we can do those things too. Before we go to our activity corner, let's talk to God. Let's do our teaspoon prayers. Tea reminds us to give thanks. Dear Jesus, thank you for being so kind to us all the time. S reminds us that we are sorry. Sometimes we mess up and we need to say sorry and ask God for forgiveness. Sorry for being unkind sometimes to other people like my friends and my family and my brothers and sisters. Please forgive me. P reminds us to say please. Father, please help us to be kind and nice to the people around us and help those who are in need. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now let's go check out what's happening at our activity corner. Hi 10th Kids! I'm Sarah and I'm the Children's Director at our evening site. For today's craft, you will need some blackboard contact paper, a piece of cardboard, some chalk, and some scissors. Today we're learning that the heart of God is kind. God was kind to David, and David was kind to Mephibosheth. We saw how David invited Mephibosheth into his home and shared his food with him. One of the ways we can be kind to others is by sharing a meal with them. So we're going to make some place cards for our guests. First, what we're going to do is trace a rectangle on our cardboard. You can use a ruler or small book to help you um, make some straight lines. You're going to want to leave some space on the sides so you can draw some fun pictures and shapes. So, I'm going to take my contact paper and just kind of size it up a little bit there. I think that should be good. Um, actually, I think I'm going to do it this way. Cardboard can be a little bit hard to cut, so you might want an adult to help you with this. So I have a pre-cut piece over here. So you're gonna want your cardboard to look something like this with the fold in the middle, just like that. All right, the next thing you're gonna want to do is take your contact paper and peel the sticker back off. This can also be a little bit tricky, so it might take a minute. All right, so now we're going to take our piece of contact paper and stick it right in the middle. Just like that. And now, after we have our piece of contact paper, you can decorate it on the sides however you'd like. So I think hmm, I'm going to take some markers and maybe do a couple stars around the outside. We want our guests to feel very welcome, so let's make it nice and pretty. Hmm. Now, once it's decorated how you like it, you can write your guest's name on the piece of um, contact paper here with your chalk. I'm going to write Grace. There we go. 
And now once you're done and your guest leaves, you can use a cloth and a little bit of water and you can wipe that off so you can reuse it every time you have guests over. That's all for me today. Now let's learn our ASL memory verse and memory verse song together. Hi friends, and welcome to ASL memory verse time. My name is Dan, and today we're gonna be, oh, look at this. It's my friend Amelia with a plant. That is so kind of you, wow. That's a beautiful plant, I'll put it right over here. You know what, Amelia? We're going to be learning today all about the heart of God and how it is kind. And that was so kind of you to give me that plant. That's great. Emily, can you remind us again how we spell your name? E-M-E-L-I-A. E-M-E-L-I-A. Great. Good to have you here, Amelia. And thanks again for being so kind. Today we're going to learn a scripture verse that tells us that the heart of God is kind. First, Emily and I will say it, and then we'll sign it. Ready? Here we go. 2 Corinthians 1, 4. He comforts us in all our troubles. Now, we can comfort others when they are in trouble. We ourselves receive comfort from God. Okay, now let's learn how to sign it. Emily, what's the sign for comfort? That's right, hand over hand. Kind of feeling pretty comfortable. He comforts us in all our troubles. It's a sign for troubles. That's right, the letter B, kind of like coming at your face. Troubles, troubles. Comforts us in all our troubles. Now we can comfort others. There's that sign again. Comfort others when they are in trouble. Remember that sign for trouble? There it is again. Those Bs coming at your face. We ourselves receive comfort sign for receive yeah grabbing it and taking it in receive comfort there it is again comfort from god in that line right down your body from god okay let's try and put it all together here we go he comforts us in all our troubles now we can comfort others when they are in trouble we ourselves receive comfort from God. 2 Corinthians 1, 4. That's great. Thanks, Amelia. And thanks again for being so kind with this beautiful plant. Friends, remember, the heart of God is kind. We'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, 10th Kids. I'm Pastor Jeff, and here is a memory verse song for you. in all our troubles Now we can comfort others when they're in trouble We ourselves receive comfort from God He comforts us in all our troubles Now we can comfort others when they're in trouble Ourselves receive comfort from God. Second Corinthians one verse four. Second Corinthians one verse four. Second Corinthians one verse four. The heart of God is kind. us in all our troubles now we can comfort others when they're in trouble we ourselves receive comfort from God second Corinthians 1 verse 4 second Corinthians 1 verse 4 second for the heart of God is kind. Second.
See you next time. I love learning our memory verse with you each week. As we say goodbye, I hope that you will see God's kindness to you and that you'll look for ways to be kind to someone too. See you next time. Bye.